Hey, the first thing I want to start out with on this interview is, is I'm really honored to speak with you. I'm a huge fan, first off, and uh, man, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's really cool to have a chance to, to sit down and, and have a quick conversation with you. That's my pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a nice way to start off an interview. Always good. Huh? <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, you know, the new album is going to be out April 14th. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I want to say congratulations on that first. I mean, you guys have been doing it for a while, but, you know, it it's still at that same level of when I first heard you back in 1988. <laughs> yeah, um, it is. It's it's great that we uh, we're still putting new music out. Um, it, it's it's great that we have the music from 1988 um as well that's music served us very well um it's it's a soundtrack to a lot of people's lives uh and it's 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 something we're, we're immensely proud of but that's just not enough um if we gotta just gotta create you know we gotta work on 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 new songs and new records and as artists, it's, it's it's just fundamentally what we do, um, and we're not doing it for the money. There's no money in it, you know, no no significant money in it. That's just not the right. point. It's just that you know we it, it, there are a few things that are as good as driving in your car and putting on your music and it sounding fucking great. And and that's right. what I've been doing with this record now for, for the last few weeks now that it's all done and and it's just like wow every track it's just like wow we did good it's so I I, I can't imagine not having that right. not having that experience and it just being well we just go out and we play sex action and never enough and ballad of Jane right. um and and you know good luck some bands are like that and and they enjoy that and and um a lot of our friends are it's cool it's fine it's uh but we we like to challenge ourselves i think is is what we i i would describe certainly i've certainly um challenged myself vocally right on this record um i feel like it's some of the best singing i've i've not done in a long while but i ever done um right. so you know it's good to have new material because i if i didn't have new material to work on i wouldn't know if i got any better or not because i can right. sing i'd sing ballad of jane on my in my sleep that's right, only right. by doing doing new stuff that i can tell you know and that that's good because it comes across you know to us as fans in the way we listen to because you know an artist has to like you said stretch themselves you know you're you're in it because you're uh you're relaying a you know a, a time in your life and and uh and and songs that that equivocate to you know to things that go on in other people's lives and it's it really comes across very well in this new album i i love this album thank you so do we um we had a, a the album before it to, to put things in perspective um checkered past is a good record it's got some good songs on it right but when we recorded it Every it, we'd never done any any of the, those songs we'd never played live before. So we basically wrote them separately, recorded them separately, and it was all composed because of during uh, the pandemic, of course, right. during lockdown or lock up, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, and and so the entire album was 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 made that way uh, remotely. And it, it, as I said, it sounds okay. It sounds good. Songs are good, and the performances are good. Um, but I wouldn't want to make another record like that in 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 in, in that um, that kind of isolation. And this record right. is which is complete polar opposite of that. We it was post pandemic. We're out on tour. We're out playing. We were recording on the tour bus. We were nice. recording, we were writing, and 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 it was a real band effort, and and it was like it's like we were cooking. It was just like it was such a great feeling, like on a day off, just coming down to the bus, and right. and 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 Johnny and Tracy, Tracy's recording Johnny doing a, a bass track, 
right? And then Ace will do a guitar track and, you know, I'm there. I, I won't do any vocals. It, it, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, I need to do vocals um, with Mitch in New York when it's all done. I can right. do maybe some guide vocals or some backing vocals or something, but they right. like having me there. I, I, I'll sing along while they're doing their part. So they, you know, just, it, 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 it helped. And right. that was so much fun. And it was great practice for me to, to sing along while they were recording their parts and not record it. So when I did come to record it, I, I knew it like the back of my hand. That's really cool to hear that process too. Cause you know, when you look at, at you, you guys have three videos out now, um, you know, and, and, you know, shattered glass and, and diamonds, obviously two weeks ago yeah, you know, that came out, I was listening to that. I think what I like, you know, so much about this album is, is, you know, the, like you said, the last one, you know, like you said, you had the restrictions, but this one has that seventies vibe and it, it, yeah. it just, it really has a, a good, you, you know, it's LA guns, but you also, you know, have the, that piece of it that that's really, you know, I'm not going to say different for you guys, but it, it's a nice element to have for this that's one. Right. That's cool, John. Uh, I tell you the, you're right. And that's perceptive of you. We are, Tracy and I, we are old school uh, 70s album guys. That's, right. that's, 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 you know, how we grew up. That's where we learn uh, our, our craft. Um, he, he learned playing along to it. I learned singing along to it because I had the lyric sheet and I put the record on. And um, that was how I learned to become a singer. You know, just right. just singing singing along with it. The lyrics were so important to me, and 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 Tracy was basically doing the same thing, mimicking the guitar parts and figuring right. them out, which which he he, he does instinctively. Um, so you know, there's we 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 like we find comfort in in the LP format. We like right. figuring out what's going to be the opening song, what's going to be the third song. What's going to be the closing song on the first side of the album? What's going to be the first song on the second side? You know, right, these right. things, these things are important to us. And, um, and, and, and that is, um, you know, due to our upbringing and, and um, the, the, the seventies, the album, uh, the whole concept is, is, is what we were raised on. Yeah. And I feel the same way. I mean, there, there's a, there's a certain, you know, sense about that, you know, like it used to be when you, you had that piece of vinyl in your hands and and you could open it up and, and look at that. Yeah. It's missing so much nowadays. You know, it's starting yeah. it's starting to make the comeback, but, and it was such a good thing when you get to go into that record store and uh and you know search through everything and and see that it was a, it was an experience. And the people you'd meet in the record store. Exactly. exactly. Like-minded rockers, and and you know they could tell tell you about a band you might not have heard of, um, and and um, next thing you know you've got a buddy and, and and a new band, and and it was such a great time. It was such a great time going to the record shops and 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 you know listening to in, to a few songs and putting on the headphones. So oh, I like that, you know. And it was just right, like right. there. I mean, they, they might revive that in, in, in a sort of a trendy retro kind of a way, but it will never be the same as that because that was right. how we listen to music. Right. And um, I feel very fortunate. Um, I, I, I hate being this old, but I wouldn't trade, trade it with any, anything for, you know, to be a teenager in London in the seventies, <laughs> really cool. heaven, on, heaven on earth and then being a rocker, um in in la in the 80s was another dream come true so i've been very blessed uh and it's it, it's all down to music and the very right. funny the very thing they told me is that oh you know it's a, it's, a, it's a bad road to go you know musicians it's a terrible life you know it's, oh you you, you know you, you, <laughs> right. you got you, you you need something more stabilizing and honestly this music business has been the most stabilizing element of my life it's because i always had always had a band you know i've always had something to look forward to a gig to look forward to or rehearsal to dread or something it's it's just right. uh, you know being being in a band is just like part of my dna 
that's great to hear that that experience too because that, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you you know you know uh, London as opposed to you know like you said you had the the full experience at, at those times and what 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 was that like you know I know I know for me I always thought it was larger than life back in the uh you know the Sunset Strip and, and yeah when, when all that was coming what was that like you know as far as how you experienced it because I I always thought that you guys you know were one of the the, the bands that I thought man these guys are really cool this is exactly how I thought it would Thank sound you. and you guys really did it well you know I think you know like as I said you know I was enamored by the the, the music scene and and um drawn to it in the 70s and the LPs and, and the lyrics and um, I was just very drawn to it and, and, and I in the 70s I was a fan and in the 80s right. I was in the, res- I, I, the, the tables had turned I was a member of I, I was like what I always wanted to be that's cool um, and and um, essentially hit the jackpot doing it um and and uh it's a a great feeling i mean it's uh i can't deny it um because that's all i was interested in was music bands rock and roll right girls and motorbikes and 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 you know for all all, all the stern warnings i was given um (laughs) it it turned out turned out not to be so bad after all that's what rock and roll is about right I, you know, I they, believe they give you the so. warning and, and you go the other way yeah, and, and you do what yeah. you do. Well, you know, but it, it's funny now because, you know, they've got like School of Rock and, and people, you know, like that, uh, bands, you know, like uh, kids learning how to play LA Gun songs, Guns N' Roses songs. There was none of that when I was a kid. That that was just like un, unheard of. And it's right. great. It's a great development. But, you know, it was always... We were always, you know, us rocker boys, us band guys, were always a little bit dangerous, you know. <laughs> oh, you, you, you never know. You never know. Um, and and uh, you know, I'd, I'd hate for, for 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 rock and and rockers to lose that edge. But uh, I guess that's right. either up to the individual, isn't it? That's the, that's the great part of the music too. The the edginess, the yeah, you know the you know the teeter, and you know which way are they going to go. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And you guys bring that, you guys bring that piece, you know, up till now. I mean, you know, when I look at at this new album and 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 I see, you know, the development of the songs. I mean, I I, I have a lot that I that I point out is like, um, you know, diamonds. Obviously, that's you know that's one of my favorites. Uh, Babylon, and, yeah, and even the the piece of you know got it wrong. I picked up that you know that that drum beat like fire Jimi hendrix yeah it, it yeah, really has so. a a very nice vibe so with with an album like this you know and, and and over all the years what's it like for you and tracy to write together i mean what's that experience like um he's very prolific uh he writes a lot he writes for um for us he writes for uh, he's um doing a, a todd kern's record he's uh Doing, I think he's doing another Sunbon thing. So he's he's always. I mean, he sits at home and plays guitar all the time. And um, if there's um, if we have a deadline, if we if if ten songs are required by the end of the week, then ten songs will be done. And he's just he's very disciplined when it, when it comes to that. Um, I I I I. I I've got to admit, I, it's I need help. I, it's I, I I get a lot of help. Um, as I said, from Mitch Davis, who records my vocals, who's also right. heavily involved in in the writing uh, and creation of the of, of songs, um, and I like his work. Tracy and him were working before the reunion, before I came back, and right. and they were working good. So, so you know, when Tracy was giving me um, song ideas when I first did the reunion. I was like, okay, I, I can work on that. And and then he goes, but, you know, I've got, you should check out what Mitch is doing with it as well. And I like Mitch's stuff. I like Mitch's ideas. And it, and right. I always wanted that. 
to have somebody to bounce off in in in, in the band. I never had that. N nobody else really wrote lyrics uh, right. in 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 the early LA Guns. It was just me. Uh, so it's great, and he's a good lyricist too. Um, and and he knows very much um, what I can do, what I, what where, where my strengths are, and and you know like other stuff. But you know like he he like. Even if I lose, even if I win, it's, it's such a ridiculously high chorus vocally. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I have to thank him. I mean, I'm, I sang it, but I have to thank him for being able to, to get that out of me. And also because Tracy is so, so quick and prolific. Um, if I, you know, if, if, if I wrote something and I, and I threw my heart and soul into it and, 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 uh, you know, I, I said, what do you think of this? And he goes, Oh yeah, I don't really like that. And then just moved on to the next song. I'd be crushed. I right. would, <laughs> but, 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 be, but because, because they've got Mitch and, and the other, and guys are involved in a, a little bit in lyrically as well. Um, but yeah, I, I, I need that. And, and so it's, it's, it's very much a, uh, a group effort. That's really cool. And it has to be, you know, nice for you, you know, as a vocalist to have a guy like, like Mitch, like you said, to, you know, be able to to push you and, and extend because when you get that, you know, you look back at it, you say, man, you know, I, I really did this and I really, you know, got the best out of it. And that, that has to be uh, great yeah. for you as an artist. Yeah, I, it, absolutely. And, and all, all of these um, post reunion records, you know, I look back at, at my work vocally that I've done. Uh, with Mitch, we've done them all together, and um, it, it blows me away how far we've come, and how far I've come, and and and, and how good it sounds. And and uh, you know, I, I, as, as I say, as I'm sure Tracy's already working on the next one, and and uh, they just keep getting better. I tell you what it is, it's like these guys, they build these fantastic machines, and I get to drive them. That's I, it. Get to, I get to I get to drive them as fast as I want, and they're fast machines, do they're nice. well built, well built machines, and it's that's a great feeling. You know, it, and that's cool too. You know, listening, like I said, is for you as a vocalist. You know these these songs. I, I love the you know the variations of it. I love the you know the heavier stuff, the classic stuff, but I, I love the modern stuff too, and, and this album, and. How about you as a as a vocalist? Is there anything that you do, you know, to keep your chops up to, you know, because I, I think you sound fantastic. I mean, it just Thank seems you. like, hey, you know, Phil of the of, of the old days, nowadays sounds great too. I mean, it just really I, says uh, a lot. Yeah, I'm a better singer now than I was then, um, technically, um, just because I know more about it um, than than I did then. I just fancied the idea of being a singer back then and sort of like, <laughs> I, I sort of learned as I as as, as uh, along the way um but um you know Robin Zander before he goes on stage lights a cigarette at Benson and Hedges smokes half of it throws the other half out and goes up on stage and sings like a bird it's, it's just amazing that is I I can't do that, you know. I I need. Um, if you've ever been on tour and and lost a, as a singer, singers losing their voice on tour is the biggest nightmare uh, we can conceive. It's just like because right. there's so much money involved, and and everybody's ready to play, but they can't because you've got like a little little muscle here, tiny little flap of skin that has has swollen, and it right. It grinds the whole thing to a halt, right. and nobody want. I, I, I don't want to be. I never want to be in that position again. Right. Um, so there are exercises that that you can do, and 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 to avoid that, to strengthen your voice, and and um, it not only does it stop it from um, from wear and tear, but it actually improves. The quality of your singing it, it improves it improves the pitch there right. are many 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 vocal wor workout tapes uh, warm-ups uh, on youtube um most of them are good um 
I um, I re I just recently Sebastian Bach just gave me a Don Lawrence um, warm up tape that he did um, nice. back in the day um, that I'm really great at really because I've had I've got different warm up tapes from different um, teachers but Don Lawrence right. is the guy um, and uh, yes very generously um, let me uh, send me a copy of it but uh, with 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 a heavy uh, non-disclosure agreement that I must not play it to anyone right. <laughs> <laughs> under, under fear of under fear of death. He made that very clear. But yeah, it's very good. Right. So I'd like to say, yeah, you well, yeah, I smoke a, a couple of shots of Jack and smoke a ciggy and I go up and yeah, do it. Go up. <laughs> yeah, that that no, I'd be lying if I said that. No, it's it's I take it incredibly seriously. Um the the um I, I keep my trap shot after the show. Right. Um, to save your voice, because especially if you've got a show the next day. Um, right. Just, just yeah, there is a bit of a bit of an athlete, you know. I, I, I like. I, I've got a rowing machine. I, I row every day. Nice. Um, um, so I'm fit, you know. I, I do these, 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 these warm ups every day. I do my rowing every day, and and you know, so that you know, like 60, 90 minutes is is no problem on stage for me that's great i mean and that's you know the, the 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 level that you care about what you do you know it, it it comes off to i mean that's that's the reason that the band you know has come so far and that's the reason that you guys you know a lot of bands you know don't have the staying power you know they might have it at some point but yeah. you guys have, have always had it i mean even you know through the breakup and and, and the reunions and and everything that LA Gun still has that relevance. Oh, that's great. I mean, I couldn't agree more. And you know, um, it, it, it's it, it it does not go unnoticed that you go to most any sort of festival. Most majority, everyone's got an LA Guns T-shirt. Everyone, right. honestly, because it's because it's relevant. You know, it, right. it it's cool. You 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 know, it's a relevant band. It's a cool band. It's you you you're going to be considered cool. Um, for, for wearing that, as opposed right. to a Britney, um, not Britney, a, a, a Britney Fox T-shirt, right. right, right, which you know right. they're a great band right. and everything, but but it right. you know it's it doesn't have the same edge as, as, as that, that, that shield, that LA Guns um, banner, That's um, it. and it it is it's it's like a bit of heraldry, it's a bit of. Uh, it, it's 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 a, it's a cool banner. It's a cool shield, and and it's it, it'll you know it'll get you laid. <laughs> hey, that's the key. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's a, <laughs> 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 You know, I I know we only have thirty minutes, uh, but I when when you look back over your musical career, you know, I mean, I know coming from me, you know, I've been listening to you since nineteen eighty eight. What what are some of the things that that stand out? I mean, what are you most proud of as a musician? Like I said, I, I see you know just talking to you, how much this really means to you and always has, and that, that's great to hear. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a great feeling um, when I finish vocals on a record. It's such a relief because you know you you pick up on my intensity and 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 how important it is to me it's the same for those guys too it's the same for johnny it's the same for ace it's the same big time for tracy right um and and once again you know i don't want to be the weakest link i don't want to let them down um so you know when i when i when i get the finished tapes of the backing tracks and then it's my turn go in the studio and 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 uh do my 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 job and that is a great feeling when i do it well and they like it and and they like it a lot um that is that's the kind of a feeling money can't buy you know um and it just that's just part of the the, the band camaraderie thing that um I, I just I, I just I would find it very difficult not to have in my life. And in terms of like, you know, um, you know, signature moments, you know, yeah, they, I mean, they've been along the way, you know, playing Madison Square Gardens with ACDC and 
getting you know presented gold records and stuff like that all very mon- monumental and but honestly just a, a a good sold out gig in a good cool venue and us playing a blinding set like on so many of those shows on the last summer tour on the Keith and run um i can think of one like specifically um the the uh, nashville show which is absolutely fantastic it was towards the end of the tour and you know when everything was right you know it was it was a great venue it was a great crowd uh, we were on fire you know was, we had new we had people that were interested in, in working with us just saw the most amazing gig and and you know moments like that um are a magic as opposed to you know that time we played in front of 80,000 people and you know we've done that and that's cool and everything but right. um it it's 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 a little bit more a bit more intimate for me than 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 those um other things but you can't beat a good merch night if somebody comes right, right. in and goes, you guys just made so much fucking money on merch. Well, yep, yeah, yep. that's a good feeling too. <laughs> that's it. You know, you got to combine both of them. That's what, that's what yeah, everybody needs to understand. Right. Make sure these guys well, get mean, taken care just, of, you know. It's, it's, it's an endorsement. I mean, it just means that, you know, they, they, you, they, you're encouraged to carry on doing it. And, and that's a great feeling. That's really cool. You know, in, in closing here, um, yeah, I, I just want to I want to thank you, you know, for everything that you do and, and, and how you affect thank you. You know, my life and everything, you know, the you know, a lot of my friends and everything. We've been listening to you guys for a long time and, hey. and, and we really appreciate it. I mean, it's a it's something. That thank you, you, John. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. OK. All right. Well, um, we'll be there. We'll be there in the summer. Uh, we I'll played. Did you, did you didn't see us at Dr Pepper Park? Did you last summer? I did not. No. Ah, uh, it was a great gig. It was a really, really good gig. Um, but yeah, we'll be back. I don't have anything specifically yet, but that was one of those. Uh, that, 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 we always have a, a a pass through there, and it's always, always a great time. So you you come out, you'll be our guest, and I appreciate it. I appreciate your questions and and the fact of your passion towards the band. And and you clearly listen to it, and and um, so yeah, you can consider yourself family, mate. I feel the same way. Thank you so much. I mean, and, and thanks for taking the time to to talk with me, Phil. I really appreciate it. Best of luck with the new album. Thank you. you. We'll John. be listening. And I'll be spreading the word too. Thank you very much. Pleasure talking to you. Bye. Thanks, Phil. Have a good day. Thank you.